What's going on my Dragon Ball Super fans? For this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super, um, I just want to go ahead and say Vegeta getting saved on a technicality and being completely pissed about it, I would probably be too because I, I don't know, at this point in time it's kind of like, yeah you almost lost to Magetta and if it wasn't for that little piece of the actual ring, you would have been done dude. Like. It was time, and he knew that he needed to actually go and go all in on this episode. Seeing Vegeta do a final flash again was absolutely amazing, even though he held back so much power. Like I said, you know, you can't kill anybody in a tournament. It was it was done beautifully. I love, I love the whole animation of him actually going to do a final flash. One of my favorite attacks in Dragon Ball Z history. But another thing is, like you see that they're not really taking their opponents too serious and it puts them in this whole um, predicament. Like, it puts them in the situations that they get into, like Goku losing to Frost. You know, he took his opponent lightly. Like I said, he should have learned from now, Goku should have learned from now, that you can't let your fucking guard down. I mean, he let his guard down to Frieza and see what happened there. And it's just like, you keep training and keep training and keep training and yet, you know, they keep exploiting your weaknesses that you're supposed to be working on. Just like the same thing with Vegeta. Vegeta's cocky. Him almost losing against Magetta, it was like you got too cocky in what you were doing. You thought like, hey, well, this is nothing. I can slice through this. And then you forgot he and he caught you. He caught you slipping. So yeah, at the same time, Vegeta was kind of, he's probably more mad at himself that, you know, he let himself get into a predicament that way. And um, I guess you could kind of say, that you like you've been training like i said with goku too you've been training you can go super saiyan god super saiyan and you're not doing that yet off like he could have went super saiyan god super saiyan at the beginning and been done with this one vegeta breaking the bottles barrier that was keeping him in limiting his abilities like that was a pretty good scene one of the one of the kind of like funny scenes was whatever vegeta actually calls might get um i think it was a metal piece of trash or something like that and at the time he didn't know that um it kind of weakens their like race for a simple fact that they're like strong like physical but mentally and emotionally they're not all that sound so like negative comments or something like that hurts their feelings a lot and causes them to lose a lot of power so they can't really fight he didn't know that um Whis actually told him that and he was like well Goku was like well that wouldn't have been any fun you know at the beginning but for this episode I definitely got to give it um a good six out of ten it wasn't it wasn't amazing there was some parts that was awesome but for next week's episode being able to see Kaba go up against Vegeta and both of them be Super Saiyan Kaba being a Super Saiyan that was pretty awesome Kaba's reaction to Vegeta actually going Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan it ignited some fire in his eyes that I've seen and I cannot wait to see how this episode goes next week guys if you enjoyed this review go ahead and smack that like button if you didn't you know what to do Go ahead and tell me what you thought of this week's episode and how you feel about next week's episode and how you think that fight is going to go. Um, I'm IC Josh, guys. If you enjoyed, like I said, share the video out. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. It's always amazing. I'm out, guys. Peace.